Welcome back. This is Todd with Gravitate Online. Hope you're doing well. Today I wanted to do part two of Chris Petterick's Web Developer Chrome extension. Um, I'm kind of enjoying it, so I wanted to show you today some features that his tool has in regards to uh, more focusing around web development, uh, making edits on sites and things like that. Yesterday I talked about some of its SEO features. Today I want to go into a little bit more of the development features. So once you have your extension installed um, and this is Chris Petterick's site some really good tutorials how to's and he, he doesn't offer some good support there but let's just activate the extension and I wanted to just walk through a few uh, really cool features uh, the first one is right here in the CSS tab and like we showed yesterday you can you can disable all your your cascading style sheets but one of the cool things I want to do in here was actually just show you the edit CSS feature and a lot like Firebug it's not you know color coded and laid out quite like Firebug but you can actually come in here directly and see your CSS right here and what I like is they also have a tab over here for embedded styles that's kinda cool the styles that are embedded in the page themselves but let's say uh, let's say I wanted to edit this web developer h2 tag I believe it is I could just come down here and change the size of it let's just make it a little bit larger there and you're going to see that actually enlarge right above and so if I say oh no that's not quite what I wanted I was looking at more oh I wanted to go even bolder even larger than you can you just make edits right there and preview it right here obviously these edits are not live you're just you're just uh, changing your display uh, so that's kind of a cool little feature and again I really like how if you have some feature activated it gives you a little one right here so it lets you know that you've got something in there uh, going on and you can just click it off and it goes away uh, the other thing that I really like is a lot of times when you're making major edits on a site you get you get a little confused where you are and um, what's titled what and everything like that and so I, I really like here on this information tab dealing with the CSS I can actually click display IDs and class details so I can actually see a lot of these details that are going on in the background and you know how hard it is to hunt down the, the correct asset or what something has been titled um, I really like just being able to display that and seeing everything visually right there I think that's a that's a really nice feature there but let's 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 deactivate that I want to show you just one here in the image tab uh, a lot of times you know I'll, I'll have to redo an image let's say Chris uh, Petterick's little icon his little drawing of himself here let's say I wanted to edit that well I can just display actual image dimensions and it'll give me just the quick dimension there so just a nice little feature a lot of other tools have features like this but I can scroll down and see that this little this little sponsor button is 160 by 90 so it just makes things real easy there um, and then just some other miscellaneous tools that you'll see on a lot of other tools but they're also included here if I want to display a color picker I can do that and it then turns my cursor into a little color picker so if I hover right here and want that blue I click on it and boom it gives me gives me that color there so uh, again they've got that in a lot of other tools uh, I, and also they'll have the display ruler in a lot of other tools if I want to know exactly all right this menu all right it is there's my dimensions right there and I can kind of just really quickly scope out dimensions uh, with with that little ruler which is which is a nice little add-on there the one that I really like though is if I'm just looking at the whole layout of a page I'll come here to the outline and then I'll just click outline block level elements and I like this because it just lets me see the entire site laid out with this nice scaffolding I can see the the code behind it and how everything is laid out especially useful when you've got you know divs embedded in other divs and things like that and you want to see how it all is laid out so those are some of the really cool features that I've enjoyed I'd like to hear uh, if, if you've used this tool, if you like this better than Firebug, or if you like the way Firebug's laid out a little bit better, uh, just let me know. Uh, but those are some of the cool features that I've run across. If you've got any favorites, just add some comments and tell me what those favorites are, and I'd love to even go in and do a quick review of them. That's it. So that's 
that is Chris Pederick's Web Developer Chrome extension. Pretty cool for SEO, pretty cool for some basic tweaks in, in web development. That's it. Thanks a lot. Have a good one.